Welcome back. Today we're going to look at two retro style gaming machines. On the left is an electronic football that is a very good replica, not exact replica, but a very good replica of a 1970s release of the Mattel electronic football game. And on the right is a retro machine, uh, arc, mini arcade, that uh, it really is reminiscent of the old games, but all the games in themselves are actually not replicas or reproductions of the classics, but rather a little bit of a variation and give that nostalgic feel. Okay, we'll start by looking at the football game. Uh, here you see a LED screen, uh, the classic red LED screen, and it has ST, K, SC, uh, three action buttons, K being kick, um, and I'll get into the other ST and SC buttons in a second. Uh, one and two is actually not one or two players, but rather how hard or the level you want to play at. And the arrows, of course, are self-explanatory. It's basically uh, function arrows which uh, advance your player uh, up, down, left, right, uh, etc. Looking at the back, there's the instructions for the football game. The off and on switch, which shows level one for beginner or level two for advanced. SC key on the front for home and visitor scores and time remaining. The ST for the downfield position and yards to go uh, for first down. Of course, the arrow keys are directional controls for your running back uh, or the player. And essentially, the player is a bright blip, as it uh, says, and the tacklers are dimmer blips. So here I have the game on, and as you can see, on the left is actually your running back, the brighter blip, and actually technically uh, looks a little thicker actually too. And the tacklers are the one, two, three, four, five blips that are relatively thinner and a little less bright compared to your running back and your player. And it, as you can see here, the ST, SC uh, buttons and the K button for kick, the up and down, left and right arrows. And I'm going to start off with one uh, as a beginner rather than an advanced player. So here if I press down the ST button, it tells you you're down at, which is your first down, field position, 20 yard line, uh, and the yards to go for a first down, of course, is uh, 10. So that's the ST button. And pressing down the SC button shows your score, 0-0, zero, zero, uh, right now for home and visitor, and 15 minutes remaining in the quarter. And here's the game in action, so to speak. As you can see, it's not on yet. All the back again, and of course there's a battery compartment towards the bottom of the picture here, in which if you unscrew, you'll be able to put in your AA batteries to run the game. Okay, here in the front, you can see I've got the darker blip to the right, which is my running back, and I'm moving the running back back and forth, and here, boom, I get tackled. And of course, uh, the lighter blips are the tacklers. Here it says first down and 10 on the 40. And here again, playing, and of course I get tackled right away because I accidentally ran into one of the tacklers. This is a very basic game, but actually, quite frankly, pretty addicting. And again, checking the down with the ST button. And here I'm kind of moving and trying to, oh, got tackled again. So it's not the easiest thing in the world to get used to. And the third and eight there, as you can see on the 38 yard line. And here I'm moving again, trying to, oh, and uh, <laughs> not doing too very, uh, not doing very well uh, here. So basically, again, a look fourth and eight, and of course, at this point, uh, you would probably punt. So and that's uh, uh, eight point six minutes left to go in the time remaining in the quarter, and so I'm going for it, and gonna see what happens here. Uh, see if I can get the first down, and oh no, no, got tackled from behind. Oh, so anyways, here this is basically how the game works, and um, it's it's quite loud actually, and um, it's a Kind of a neat little game. Now we'll transition to the retro machine on the right, which really is not a replica of any old mini arcade, but rather a new game in and of itself. However, it is reminiscent of some of the retro games we've seen in the past. Here, as you can see on the screen, on the first page of the screen anyways, as you turn it on, there's 200 games listed at 201. This is just the first page, and use the joystick button or the A and B button to advance back and forth. And here is a closer up of the controller. There is a joystick on the left, a reset button, a start button, a volume button, which I guess you just keep pressing, as far as I could tell, to both raise it as well as to lower the volume. Uh, the A and B game 
buttons, of course, depending upon the game, it has different functionality. And here, looking at the game, again, the front, uh, the Retro Machine is the name of this. It, you actually buy this on Amazon. It's not very retro, actually. It's made in China, I believe. And really, uh, these games, again, are modern games that just look like old games. The on-off uh, on switch on the back, and of course, the battery compartment down below. You can see there was a speaker in the back as well. On the A, B buttons, actually all the buttons actually have pretty good play. The joystick actually moves very nicely. It doesn't really take much force. And actually the game plays pretty well. So here I turn it on and as you can see, I'm scrolling through the menu. I could do it with the A, B button uh, or all the joystick as well. And basically there's quite a few games. Uh, quite frankly, there's a lot of uh, interesting games on there. But really just a few that I actually truly recognize. Now this one, I can't remember the exact game that I used to play when I was younger. Uh, I do remember something like this, I, I think maybe when I was in college or something like that. And basically it's a sh scrolling game that goes up and down and uh, basically you're shooting uh, aliens or whatever it is that's coming at you. Uh, or enemy fighters, I should say. And really it's a, pr a pretty nice little game. It actually, this one uh, it's called F-22 on this retro machine, but really is very reminiscent of the game I remember when I was younger. Now, of course, here uh, I get a uh, some kind of a boost, and I've got two guns. Okay, so now I go back and I reset it, and it gives me the main menu again. And, of course, as you can see, there's all kinds of different games you can scroll back and forth to play. So I'm going to try another game now. So here I'm going to hit start. It's Racing Fighter. This one, quite frankly, I have no clue what I'm doing, as you'll see in a second. Uh, basically, I'm trying to race, and I can't even figure out. Okay, there, there you go. So that's that's the accelerator, as far as I can figure, and, of course, the direction. And uh, clearly, I'm not doing very well. Don't, I mean, this is reminiscent of a million different types of racing games that we've all seen in the past. Okay, here I'm going to look for one more game, and I'm scrolling through and take a look and try to see if there's something I could actually recognize, and this is Space Base. Well, those was going to be a Space Invader game, but it uh, turned out not really. <laughs> here in the center there, and basically you're turning around and trying to shoot different things. I think that's a shield. And if you activate the shield, it appears that it allows you to block any, obviously, f uh, enemy fighters from uh, hitting you or damaging you. And uh, here, I'm, again, not doing too good of a job, uh, just trying to figure out the controls. The joystick turns everything around. So, so again, I really thought this might be a Space Invaders type game, but it turns out not so much. Uh, however, here I'm getting a little bit more used to it, and uh, the A button, obviously, is the fire button, and the B button is the shield button. Not quite sure what I just did there, but probably got blown up or something. So, two retro gaming mini arcades. Hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for coming back.